So no car boot sale again for me this weekend. I just made the call early on not to go. The weather's been so bad that even if they were still on, I anticipated there being not too many cars. So instead, what I did was I hit the charity shops in the student part of the city. I went down Albany Road, Cardiff, and that street must have eight or nine charity shops on it. And the best thing about being in the student part of the city, you get loads of computer games, media, pop culture stuff, plenty of variety. And it has turned out to be a great shout to hit those charity shops this weekend. So enjoy. Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. So what I do is I buy stuff for cheap and sell it online for profit. And this weekend was meant to be the one. It was meant to be my first ever car boot sale. And I was really excited about it. I've been watching loads of other reseller YouTube channels about um, all, all their different car boot hauls and things like that. Picking up loads of tips off of those guys and I was ready to go. But the weather has just been naff. So I binned it off and I hit the student part of the city and it turned out to be a great shout. So I spent about an hour just on the street going in and out all the different charity shops. I spent £35 overall and I'm ex expecting to make about 150 quid back. So it was well worth the time. But before we get into all the stuff that I picked up, have a look at what's sold this weekend. So weekend sales report and we sold six things this weekend all of it on eBay as well. And the first sale we had was a couple of those Viewmaster reels. So what I did was I bundled these two reels together. Both of them are from the late 70s. You've got Wonders of the Deep and Secrets of the Sea. So obviously very fish themed. Bundled those together and those sold for £8 plus postage. So yeah, good to get these um, ticking over and I'm hoping that the momentum keeps up with these. Right, next sale we made, we made two Transformer sales. We sold this guy. This one is called Swerve, and this one sold for £10.50 plus postage. Transform him down, he goes back into a car. Not my favorite Transformer, to be honest, because you can see at the bottom, his legs are made out of these wheels. So he's really difficult to stand up, because obviously he's trying to stand on wheels. But there you go, still a pretty good sale, £10.50 plus postage. And the other Transformer sale we had was this sentinel prime now this guy is an absolute beast i've got his gun i've got his um instructions here so there he is he's from dark of the moon and he's called sentinel prime fantastic transformer transforms down into a cool fire engine horrible character in the movie though so that has tainted him for me but 20 pounds plus postage so really good transformer sale that one the next sale we had was a Trackmaster sale, and this one has gone on the global shipping program over to France. This is Rusty, and this is a old school Trackmaster one, so it's not one of the revolution ones. And I threw in this um, wagon as well, and this wagon has got a little switch on the bottom, so if you drive over a particular piece of track, you know, it, uh, yeah, you can see that there's coal in there, and then it's empty. But this Rusty went for £14.50 plus postage, global shipping program over to France. So check for that one. The next sale we had was a Monsters High doll bundle. So what I did was I bundled two dolls together and they've got loads of accessories. And the reason I did that is because they literally come as just kind of a bare doll. Look at that, how freak is that? You can see her brain there, look. And I've got to show you this, if you click her brain down, how freaky is that? Her eyes just switch. And it's the same with the other one. Um, but the idea is that these are fully customizable. So you get lots of different wigs, lots of different bits and pieces to put with them. And this bundle here sold for £20 plus postage. So I'm in profit on my Monsters High Step, which is cool. But for me, my favorite sale of the day, and I always celebrate when I sell this these type of things, a Puzz 3D Jigsaw. So a 3D puzzle, these have not been selling at all. This one is the Old Mail of Stony Creek, and this one has actually got a bit missing, which I made very clear in the title and the listing. But the thing is, when they do sell, they sell for decent money. So this one sold for 20 pounds plus postage. So it's been hanging around for at least three months. But like I said, when they sell, they sell for good money. So 
a pretty decent weekend. I know it's only six sales, but the total value of them I'm dead chuffed with. So let's get down the charity shop and buy some more stock. And whoa, 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 before we go to the charity shop, we have literally just had a live sale in, just as I was recording that last bit of the video, and it has trumped the 3D puzzle of sale of the day. Oh man, we have sold this The Dark Crystal Viewmaster Real Set, and this has sold for £38 plus postage. And that puts me in profit on all of the Viewmaster stuff. And I love it when you reach that point, getting into profit on a fairly decent sized bundle. You can then start to enjoy the sales then because you know it is all going to be profit. And I completely gambled with that price. I didn't ever expect to get it. I thought I'd be taking an offer. But this one is sold through the global shipping program over to Canada. The last ones of these sold for about £20, but there hasn't been any listed for a while. So I took advantage of the Dark Crystal being back on TV, the remastered version. And it's paid off £38 plus postage. That is sale of the day. Chuffed with that. So oh, anyway, let's get on to the charity shop. So here we go, we're just walking along Albany Road. We're right in the heart of the student part of the city. There are tons of charity shops here. There must be at least eight just on this street alone. And because it is the student part of the city, you get loads of media stuff, loads of pop culture stuff. So hopefully we can pick up some pretty good deals. So we're back from the charity shops. And firstly, I've got to apologize for not having any footage inside any of those charity shops. It was really, really busy down there and they were letting in one or two people maximum in each shop. So I wanted to get around each shop as quick as I could because queues were building outside and I had loads and loads to get through. Um, but yeah, the next charity shop haul I do, I'll definitely make sure I get some footage. But the first charity shop we went in, they were doing buy one, get one free on men's clothing. So I took advantage of it and I picked up this medium size Welsh football jersey. Um, but actually it's turned out to be a little bit of a gaff because it's not one of the match day ones. This is just a kind of supporter shirt. And even though it's the right material for the football jerseys, it doesn't have Adidas or Kappa um, up, up there. So actually it is, an, it is a FAW product, but I paid four pounds. I'm looking to maybe get six back. I'm looking to make my money back on this really. So not the best start, but actually the shirt I got free with it was this Luke Sport polo shirt. Again, size medium, really, really nice shirt actually. I've tried it on because I was tempted to keep it. Yeah, it was a bit tight in a few places. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got this one listed up for 11 pounds plus postage. So this one alone should put me into profit, even if that one doesn't sell for what I want it to do. So yeah, actually a solid first start. And then in the same shop, they were selling backpacks as well. So I picked up two of them. Well, one backpack, one satchel. And this is the backpack. It's Pikachu. It's a Pokemon backpack. Um, and you know what? This is a little bit of a gaff as well. So I paid four pounds for it, but I didn't really check the condition closely enough. You can see it's got a few little holes coming through on the bottom of the front pocket. There's a bit more wear in the corners here. So I'm looking again just to make my money back on that. I've got it for six pounds plus postage and I've already got a watch on it. So yeah, hopeful I will at least sell it. But this one is a bit better. I picked up this Star Wars kind of satchel. It's not real leather, it is um, a PVC, but really, really nice condition. I have given it a good wipe over, cleaned it up. Small little scratch on the back there, but hopefully that shouldn't affect the price too much. I got this one listed up for 11 pounds plus postage or maybe £10 plus postage, around that mark anyway. So I paid £3.50 for this, so that should put me into at least doubling my money. But you know what? These backpacks weren't really about making profit because I picked up so much other stuff, I needed these just to carry them about for the rest of the day. So let's get down onto the top of the um, tumble dryer and I'll show you everything else I picked up. So I've got a basket full of stuff here to show you, so let's get on with it. And this was the next thing I picked up is this Washington Redskins cap. It's kind of got that uh, snap back peak on it. But the best thing about it, it's got an adjustable strap at the back. So if you've got a big head like myself, you can never find this style of cap to fit you. So I think that these are perfect. It's an official NFL product. You've got the NFL sticker there and there's an NFL label in there. 
and I paid five pounds for this, which might sound expensive, but Washington Redskins at the minute are going through a big rebranding exercise. So I think that these will be worth a bit of money in the future. So I've got this one up for 21 pounds plus postage, which will bring in a nice bit of profit if it sells for that. Now I said that the student area is great for media and computer games. And I picked up two computer games. The first one is Tony Hawk's American Wasteland on the Xbox 360. And this is a bit of a bolo. Look out for this one, guys. Because at the minute, this one is selling for £20 free postage. You can see I've got the um, manual in there, the disc in there. Manual hasn't got any graffiti or, you know, writing in it at all. I paid £1.50 for this one. So keep an eye out of for it. I think it's because the new Tony Hawk game is coming out in a few weeks' time. So everyone's yeah, got Tony Hawk on their mind. Look out for that one, guys. And I also picked up another Tony Hawk game. This one's not so uh, valuable. I paid a pound for this. This one uh, I've got listed up for five pounds. No, yeah, six pounds, sorry. Free postage. Got the manual. Obviously got the disc. Both of these discs are in, are in great condition. So yeah, not as much profit, but still worth the pickup. I, I then found these in the toy section of another charity shop and I couldn't believe it. We've got some sealed Lego. This one is Overwatch set number 75970 and the box is pretty tatty. It's a bit, you know, bent. There's a few creases in it, but key thing is still sealed there. I paid one ninety nine for this and I've got this listed for £11 plus postage. So nice little pick up that one. And there was another sealed bit of Lego. This one is the Speed Champions McLaren, set number 75892. Again, £1.99. This one doesn't sell for as much. This will go for eight or nine pounds plus postage. Still very much worth the pickup. Now the next pickup was, it's a niche that I want to explore, but I've never found anything cheap enough. And I want to get into selling manga because I think that there is a big market for these. And I picked up these three. They're 07 Ghost, but importantly, I've got numbers one, two, and three. So I've got the start of the series. And I paid five pounds for these um, as a set. And I've got these listed up for 16 pounds plus postage. I wasn't really sure how to price these. The last ones that sold one, two, and three sold for seven pounds plus postage, but the postage was all the way from America. So they paid 20 odd pounds to post it. So I thought let's aim higher because they're buying it from the UK. And I really want to get into um, in, into manga. I think it's a lot easier to follow than the Marvel series. So for example, if you want to start reading double oh, 07 Ghost, you know where to start. You start at number one. But if you want to start, say, reading Spider-Man for Marvel, you know, which one do you start? Do you go Ultimate Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Astounding Spider-Man, whatever Spider-Man? Who knows? There's so many places to start on so many different storylines. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get back onto the pickups. And I think this next one is the pickup of the day. I found this. It is Krang. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy. Still boxed, brand new from... Uh, 2012 i paid 199 for this one and in box brand new this sells for 30 pounds free postage so yeah chuck with that i'm really sick of ninja turtle stuff because i picked a big bundle of it and i can't clear the tail end of it but when you pick when you pick up stuff like this just put your faith right back into it that's pickup of the day the next two are ones for me really so this book just caught my eye. This one's called The Death and Life of Superman. Nice hardback book. Um, I paid two pounds for this, so paid up a little bit, but I want to read this one. Resale value is about six pounds free postage, but it's got to go as a small parcel. So you're never gonna make much profit, but I'm looking forward to reading that one. And the next one again is for me. I picked this Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Was it a deluxe essential handbook? Basically, because I'm playing the new Pokemon game on Nintendo Switch, I'm really familiar with the first 150 Pokemon from back in the old school Game Boy days. This is they're now up to over 700 Pokemon, and you cannot keep track. So I bought this so I can go through and find out what each of them does. Pretty sad, but I paid a pound fifty for it. There's not much resale value for this, but this will help me through that game definitely. And the last one. I picked up this grid iron book for a pound. I took a gamble on it. Um, not worth the pickup. 
shame to end on, on, on a bit of a downer, but yeah, this one might sell for two to three pounds free postage. So yeah, this one might be going back to the charity shop. But hey, anyway, overall, a great day in the charity shop. So as well as picking up all that stuff from the charity shops, I've been checking Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree for any potential pickups. And I found a pretty decent one on Gumtree. And it is this penny board. Well, it's not actually the official penny board. Penny is a brand, but this type of skateboard is kind of known as a penny board. This one is by Two Bare Feet. And just that pattern caught my eye there. That is so cool, isn't it? you know nice bright red red wheels but the reason i picked this one up i paid 15 pounds for it because i've been going on my skateboard a bit my sons just wanted to have a go on it as well so i picked this one up for them as their first skateboard resale value i'll probably stick this one up when we finish with it on marketplace again for 25 pounds to 30 pounds ish these on ebay are all over the shop ranging from 20 to 60 pounds totally dependent on the brand which you've got if you've got one of the official penny ones they seem to be worth a bit more but even some of the other manufacturers yeah they do command some decent prices but yeah picked up this other skateboard so that is pretty cool and that wraps up a real decent weekend some nice sales i'm still really chuffed after that viewmaster sale as well that's so cool and some really nice pickups but i was in the mood so all of it is listed on the ebay store already so Maybe I need to go out and pick some more stuff up as well. So let's see how this week goes. But guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I will be live with Global Thrifters 8 o'clock on Thursday. So it would be great if you could jump onto the onto their channel. Say hi from me firstly, but join in on that chat. It would be great to answer any questions, hear what you guys have been up to. And um, anyways, if I don't see you there, I'll catch up with you in the next video. So catch you later. Thanks ever so much for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. For those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.